This is Yasser from Tech Solutions and today we are taking your fresh Zorin OS 18 Pro installation and turning it into a fully tuned, powerful and comfortable daily driver. A fresh install always looks good on the surface, but with a few smart tweaks, updates, performance improvements, layout changes, essential apps, drivers and privacy settings, you can make it run exactly the way you want. I'll walk you through everything step by step in a practical way without any fluff. So by the end of this video, your Zorin OS will feel smoother, faster and far more personal. Once you've finished installing Zorin OS 18 Pro and you land on the desktop for the first time, everything feels clean and polished. But there's a lot you can do to make the system truly your own. The first thing to handle is system updates. Even a fresh ISO usually trails behind the latest patches by a few weeks. So, opening the software updater right away makes sure you're running the newest kernel, drivers and improvements pushed by the Zorin team. These updates are the foundation for everything else. Better performance, better hardware support and fewer surprises later. As those updates finish, it's a good moment to take care of multimedia support. Linux distributions follow legal requirements, so many codecs for things like MP4, MKV, certain audio formats, and even some screen recording tools aren't pre-installed. Zorin makes this easy. Open the software store and install the multimedia codecs package. It's a small addition, but one that saves you a lot of time when you start watching videos, editing media, or handling uncommon formats. Next comes personalization the part where your desktop starts to feel familiar. One of the biggest strengths of Zorin OS 18 Pro is a premium layout pack. It gives you desktop styles inspired by Windows, Mac OS, Classic GNOME and a few minimalist options. Open Zorin Appearance and explore the layout that matches how you work. If you're coming from Windows, the Windows-like layout makes the transition smoother. If you prefer a clean, centered dock, the Mac OS style layout nails that vibe. While you are in the appearance panel, switch between light and dark modes, tweak your accent color, adjust dock size and transparency, and reduce or increase animation speeds based on your hardware. These small changes create a more comfortable environment for long working hours. Now let's talk about performance. Zorin OS already comes well optimized, but there are a few tweaks that really help. Head into the Startup Applications tool and disable anything you don't need launching automatically. This helps the system boot faster and makes the desktop feel more responsive after login. If you're using a high-resolution display, fractional scale might tempt you, but only turn it on if you absolutely need it, because it does increase GPU load. For SSD users, ensure trim support is active so the drive stays fast and healthy over time. These adjustments don't take long, but they improve the overall feel of the system in daily use. After performance tweaks, it's the perfect time to install the essential apps you'll rely on. Zorin Software Store is impressively flexible because it mixes .dev packages, flat packs, and snap apps into one clean interface. That means you can pick whichever format you prefer without juggling different stores. For general browsing, Chrome, Brave, or Vivaldi are solid picks. For productivity, only Office or LibreOffice will cover documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. If you're into creativity, Zorin Pro already includes its premium suite, but adding GIMP, Inkscape, Kid and Live, or Blender gives you a fully capable workspace for design, photos, editing, and 3D work. Games are another area where Zorin performs well, so installing Steam or Heroic Launcher opens the door to thousands of titles, especially when Proton is enabled. Before diving into apps too deeply, check your hardware drivers. Go to the Additional Drivers tool and let Zorin scan your system. If you're using an NVIDIA GPU, this step is essential. The difference between the open source driver and the proprietary NVIDIA driver is huge. Better frame rates, smoother animations, and overall more stable performance. Wireless adapters sometimes also have alternative drivers available. Installing the right one up front avoids random drops and weak signal issues later. Privacy and security are up next. Zorin prioritizes user privacy, but it's still worth going into settings slash privacy and adjusting a few things. Turn off location services if you don't use apps that depend on them. Decide whether you want automatic screen lock, reduce the timeout, or disable it completely depending on how secure your environment is. You can also review whether you want the system to keep file history or remove old trash automatically. 
These settings seem small, but they define how your system behaves day to day. Once privacy is tuned, securing your data with backups is a must. Timeshift makes this incredibly simple. Set it to take automatic snapshots either weekly or daily depending on how often you tweak your system. If anything breaks, updates, drivers or experimental software, you can roll back instantly. If your system is installed using BTRS, Timeshift integrates even better with native snapshots. It might feel like something you can skip, but months later when an update misbehaves, you'll be grateful this was set up. By this stage, your Zorin OS system is functional, personalized and protected with backups, all ready for work, gaming, editing or anything else you want to throw at it. If this guide helped you shape your Zorin setup, drop a like, leave a comment and subscribe for more Linux tutorials and tech fixes. This is Yasir from Tech Solutions signing off. Keep exploring, keep learning and I'll see you in the next one.